Now, as an osteopath, I see quite a lot of people with neck pain. Most of the time, neck pain is musculoskeletal. So it's caused with either compression through some of the joints in the neck or tightness in the muscles. So for these situations, we can simply relieve some of this neck pain through movement, stretching, and then eventually strengthening. Now, some people have things such as arthritis within the neck. So no matter how much stretching you do, you may not get an increase in the range of movement. And sometimes you may not get any, uh, a decrease in the levels of pain as well. But to use the peanut for your neck, we can do this on the floor and I'm gonna show you how to do it on the floor. My preference would actually be to do it on the wall and I'm gonna show you that as well. After that, I'm gonna then show you how to do some simple stretches for your neck so you can help to increase the range of motion within your neck. So the first thing we can do is to lie down on the floor and position the peanut just in to the curve of the neck. So from here, I would just start to try and relax, drop your shoulders down, allow your head to just drop down as well, and just allow your neck to fold over that peanut. From there, what you can do is maintain some pressure on top of the peanut and just try and flex your head up and down. As you flex up, you may start to feel you lose that pressure, which is fine, so just stop at that point and come down. You may find to add more pressure, what you can do is lift your hips off the floor and drive your neck into the peanut. From there, you can then come up into some flexion and bring it back down into extension. So to use the peanut for your neck, put the peanut just behind your neck Lean into it, take your hips away from the wall so you've got some pressure coming in. And then you can use your legs to roll yourself up and down. And you can control how it feels based on how close to the wall your hips are. The more distance away from the wall your feet are, the more intense that pressure is gonna be on the peanut. So you can come up and down the muscles in your neck. I personally prefer to do it against the wall for my neck because I get more range of movement. Whereas when you do it on the floor, you don't feel like you get as much movement. So from here, then you can try and rotate your neck both sides. You'll find that as you rotate, the ball is in the way, so it stops you rotating too far, but then you can find that you can shift slightly onto the side so you get the muscles in the side of your neck too. Once you've done that, then you can go into some flexion and extension through the neck. Just trying to pin those muscles in place and work on trying to stretch those muscles out at various different points. So now that we've done the peanut usage on the floor and on the wall, I'm going to show you some very basic movements and stretches that you can do for your neck. So the first thing is just to get more movement. I would always start with movement first just to warm up the muscles. So I would do something like 10 flexion and extensions. I'm not going to do 10 now, but you go up and down. Once you've done 10, start going into some rotation. If you feel any pain, obviously just stop. Don't push your neck into pain because you don't want to make things worse. So rotations, five to 10 each side. And then from there, side bend, side to side. And again, five to 10 on each side. Now, once you've done your active stretching, the next thing you can do is what's called passive stretching. So from here, you could come down into flexion, put your hands on top of your head and use the weight of your arms to pull your head down to increase that stretch. Hold for up to 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how comfortable you feel. And then from there you go into extension, push your head up using your hand on the base of your chin. 
and hold. Now with this one, for people who have say spasms or facet joint compressions within the neck, you might actually find that that's not very comfortable, in which case just leave that out altogether. So don't push it into pain. From there, we go into some rotation. So I'll rotate as much as I can, then use my other hand to push my head further around and hold. Hold that for say 30 seconds and then go the other way. Move around as far as you can go. Use your other hand to assist it around a little bit further. And then repeat that as much as you want. Then go into side bending. So if I'm bending my head to the right, I'm gonna use my right hand now to assist in pulling that round to the right more. So I'm gonna hold that for about 30 seconds and then go to my left and use my left hand to pull my neck to the left. So that's a nice, simple stretch routine that you can do for your neck.